Hey, ladies and gents, welcome to TFI. And why am I chuckling like an idiot? Well, it's because this is the most frustrating video I've ever made by a mile. I'm on a like take 30 at this point, and I'm just going to come out with it. Just sorry, I'm just going to explain it. It's one of the most difficult videos I've ever had to pitch. I don't know how to pitch this right or explain it properly without just without waffling on forever and making no sense. So instead, I'm just going to explain what I did, how I used this, and then I'll let you decide whether or not it's something you could potentially use. It's definitely not, not going to be for everybody. A lot of people watching this just won't have a use for this, but it's one of those things which is kind of good to know about. It's called symbolic linking of folders, and I'll explain the scenario that I, that I use this within. So we use Vault in our office. When we get files from our Vault, it's non-negotiable that the files come out of Vault and they get put into C, dollar working folder, and then this folder here. So everything in our vault gets put underneath this folder, regardless of what it is, AutoCAD data, 3D CAD data, regardless of what project it is, regardless of what part number it is, all the files exit vault and enter this folder here on the C drive. And we've just set up an, an arrangement with a third party contractor where we want to share data from our vault with them, but it is non-negotiable that they cannot have access into our vault. They cannot have a VPN into our vault and they cannot log into our vault. So how do I get files from our vault and then send them to the contractor and then have a nice slick way of them working on those files, sending them back to us and then putting them back into our vault without there being a hell of a lot of manual interventions and interjections. Well, the way I've come up with is this. We've set up a Dropbox, or I've set up a Dropbox account and then underneath this Dropbox account, I'm going to create a folder which I'm going to share with the contractor. So they'll have access to that folder. And I'm going to create a link between one PC's working folder and this Dropbox account. So on one PC, I can go to a specific project or a product or a, an assembly or a drawing. And I can get that drawing out of the vault, put it into this folder on this one computer. So it'll populate this one computer's local workspace with that one specific drawing that I want to share with the contractor. And then using the symbolic link, it's going to mirror that set of files into the Dropbox folder and then send those files via Dropbox to the contractor. They'll then work on them, save them, and then it'll send them back to me via Dropbox where I can then put, it'll then sync it back into my workspace and then I can just check them straight back into Vault. So basically, the contractor who's working on those files is essentially, and you'll see this in a second, they're essentially working on my workspace, but they're not really, but I'll show you what I mean. The way, I'm, the way I go about doing this is using a symbolic link. So I'm gonna link my working folder into the Dropbox folder. So the way I go about doing that is to click start at the bottom and then go to a command prompt. So you type in CMD, I know you can't see the bottom, it's because I'm on a widescreen monitor and I'm recording in 1080, it doesn't, don't worry about it. But type in CMD, and then right click on that command prompt and then run as administrator. This starts a DOS prompt as an administrator. You need to do that right. Type in MK link space forward slash D space. And we need to specify two directories. The first directory is the directory you want to mirror the files to. This is going to be the link in Dropbox. So we're going to go quotes. Then it's going to be E colon backslash Dropbox backslash. And then I'm going to type in dollar working folder, close quotes, space, quotes again. And then this is going to be my folder on my C drive. This is the origin of the files. This is the source copy of the files. So this is going to be C colon backslash dollar working folder, right? I have no idea if this is making any sense to anybody, but I'll just keep going. Right, then I'm going to press return. And that's going to say symbolic link created for E Dropbox to C dollar working folder. What that's done in my Dropbox account, I've now got an exact replica of the files on my C dollar working folder. So in E Dropbox dollar working folder, if I go to engineering data inventor, I've now got an exact replica of what's in here. Now, because this is a Dropbox folder, this is now synced to the cloud. This folder, all of these folders here are now synced to the cloud and they're synced across to the Dropbox folder on the third party contractor's PC. So they've also got, that other person also has an E Dropbox folder and they will create a symbolic link on their PC between E Dropbox and their C dollar working folder. So basically my PC and the contractor's PC has the exact same link here between Dropbox and C dollar working folder. So on their PC, they've 
now got the exact same working folder as I have. So they can open up these files, they can make changes to them, they can save them, and when they make changes to any of the files on their C dollar working folder, blah, 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 that's gonna then sync those files into their Dropbox, which is gonna send the files to the cloud, over to my Dropbox and then into my C dollar working folder. So we're essentially working on the exact same set of files using a symbolic link into Dropbox. Once they've made a change to the files, it'll come back into my working folder and I can check it back into our vault internally and it's me doing it and it's all perfectly safe. So they're able to work on our vaulted files without even having a VPN into our office or a login to our vault. And just so you can see this working, right? If I go into the Dropbox folder over here on the right-hand side, if I was to create a brand new file in here, so say if I was to create a new text document, you can see that immediately updates over here. If I was to delete that text document, it immediately deletes it from the symbolically linked folder. Right, I have no idea if I've explained that right, but hopefully it makes it makes some kind of sense the linked folder over in dropbox is not really there it's not it's not really there it's it's an object in a folder linked to the original source so if i was to delete this folder here right that doesn't affect the source but i can't delete this if i was to delete the source that would completely screw the whole thing up but you can then go back to the dos prompt redo the symbolic link and it'll just, it just, it doesn't even copy the files. It's not a copy, it's not a backup. These objects here, you're actually looking, if I was to double click into that folder, these objects here, they're actually these ones here, they're just using smoke and mirrors, it looks like they're over here, but they're not. So this, even though it says I'm browsing my E drive, I'm actually browsing the C drive, it just looks like I'm browsing, I've really, I know what I'm trying to say and it's just so frustrating because I don't know if it's making any sense. Ah, uh, but it works, it works. The files are there and they are synced to Dropbox and sent over to the third party. I've no idea if I'm making any sense. Do you know what it is? I really don't know what I'm, I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know if I'm explaining it right. I'm not starting this video again because I cannot explain it any more clearer than what I've just done. I really don't know if I have. It's, if I go, the, the, the explanation of what a symbolic link is, right? This is what Windows says, right? Or Microsoft say. A symbolic link is a file system object Right, so this is a file system object that points to another file system object. Right, so that is an object and it's just pointing over here. It's not really there, but it kind of is. <laughs> Symbolic links are transparent to users. So even though it's transparent, you still see it's got the little shortcut icon there. So it kind of, you kind of know that that's a linked folder. It looks like a shortcut, but it's not really a shortcut. Symbolic links are transparent to users. The links appear as normal files or directories. So it appears as a normal file or a directory and can be acted on by the user or application in exactly the same manner. So it looks like they're there. You can work on these files in the Dropbox folder like you're really working on them, but you're, they're not really there. <sighs> right, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. It works, it works. It's a nice way of mirroring files over to another directory. It doesn't have to be in a Dropbox. You can mirror them onto an external USB disk if you want to. Not a good idea, because as soon as you disconnect the two medias, as soon as the symbolically linked folder can't see the source folder, the symbolic link fails. So you can't use it as a backup. The files aren't really here. If I was to disconnect the C drive, which obviously my PC would fail, but if I was to disconnect the link between the C drive and the E drive, the symbolically linked folder would completely fail. I don't know if I'm digging myself a bigger hole here and making this even more confusing than it already sounds. So I'm just going to leave it there. I've already said that, but I am this time. Right, that's that'll do for this one. Hopefully it made sense. If it did, hit the hit thumbs up. If it didn't make any sense, just let me know and I'll try and explain it a little bit better. Or have a play around with it yourself. It's harmless. There's, you can't do any damage with it. It's, it really is harmless. <laughs> leave it there. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, I stream on Twitch nowadays, so I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check me out on, on Twitch. I'm doing a giveaway on a 3D mouse soon, so uh, yeah, go and follow. I'm going to be doing that on Twitch, so hit me up on Twitch. Uh, get following the channel if you want to see uh, me on Twitch and enter the giveaway. Details will follow soon. And uh, yeah, that'll do. Dude, I'm exhausted trying to explain this. I really am. Toodles.